We're talking about propulsion. And to help us learn more, we're getting help from Milo. Hey gang, I'm super excited to help you learn all about propulsion. To start things off, what do you already know? I think propulsion means a way of pushing something forward. Exactly. And there's a lot of different ways to propel something. First, we're going to test magnets, and then balloons, and finally, rubber bands. Cool. cool! Magnets are metal objects with invisible fields around them called magnetic fields that have both north and south poles. We can actually use these magnetic fields to push and pull other objects. Let me show you. When you put a south pole and a north pole, they stick together. But if you put a north pole with a north pole or a south pole with a south pole, they push each other apart or repel. All right, I'm gonna tape these magnets to the ends of these sticks if you wanna tape those magnets to the top of the cars. All right. All right. I'll pick them later. Chase race a lot. Oh, and make sure and put the red side up. Because we've got a north pole on this magnet and a north pole on top of the car, when they get close, they repel and move the car. Whoa! It's like magic! Even better, it's science. All right, on your mark, get set, go! Oh! Don't matter, the winner! Yay! High five. All right. When you blow up a balloon like this, you're trapping a bunch of air inside. Now that air wants to escape, creating air pressure. As long as I hold the balloon shut, it stays trapped. But when you let it go, we should be able to use that same force to move our cars on their own. We are going to attach these balloons to our cars so we can harness the power of air pressure. All right. You ready? Right. Take your paper clip, and you're gonna take the outside part a skinny part and bend it up, just like this. Now we're gonna take some tape. We want just enough tape to wrap around the car. And you can take that strip of tape and kind of push down the middle of it on your paper clip, just on the table. And then you can stick it on the roof of your car. It makes it a little bit easier. Uh -huh. so right there in the top. No, don't attach to my balloon. And then wrap around. Make sure you don't block the wheels at all. Nice. Next up, we need our straws. Straw. And these are bendy straws, so you can bend the straw with a 45 degree angle, just like that. And you're gonna put the balloon on the short end, just so that the end of the balloon goes right to that bend. And now, this is the trickiest part, so it's okay if you need some help. We're gonna take our rubber bands, and we need to wrap it around enough times so that all that air pressure gets sealed in. And then we're gonna stick it right, kind of push it on, right on top of the paper clip, and, and then push. wrap that tape around. All right. And the paper clip just holds the balloon side of the straw straight up. So you can see the straw's kind of wobbly on there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna tape down the other side and kind of put this tape right on top of the tape that holds the paper clip. Mm -hmm. So just right on the top. Last step, grab the, the, whole, the whole setup, mm -hmm. and we're gonna cut off the end of the straw, but leave like here. Look where I'm doing it. You wanna leave enough space so you can still blow it up. Here. So, yeah. Whoa, whoa. They go fleeing. Oh. Whoa, that's cool. I'm gonna pinch it, and then I'm gonna take one of these binder clips, and I'm gonna pinch that at the end just to seal in all that air pressure. On your mark, get set, go! Whoa! Oh, it's close, it's Whoa! close! He's oh, swerving off oh, the roof! Oh, Daniel Suarez has swerved off, and Ryan inside Laney wins! Woo! Good, Good job! job. Woo! Today in the garage, we're learning the science behind making cars go fast. Please say rocket boosters. Please say rocket boosters. Actually, I was talking about friction, and I know just the guy to tell us all about it. Miles! Hey guys, I'm really excited to help you learn all about friction today. You ready to have some fun? Yeah! Yes. Friction is actually pretty simple. It's the resistance when one object travels over another. Friction slows things down. And if it wasn't for friction, an object that is moving would never stop moving. So if we want our cars die cast to go super fast, we want to race them on a surface that has the least amount of friction possible. Presenting my latest creation, the homemade science friction test track. Whoa! Whoa is right. I custom built this bad boy so you guys could test out different materials and see which one has the least amount of friction. 
And the less friction, the faster the cars are going to go. Exactly. Great job, buddy. Let's go rough surface versus smooth surface first. Great idea. I think I got just the materials. For rough, we got some play sand. All right. And for smooth, some wood. On your mark, get set, go! Oh! oh! Clearly, driving on the smooth wood has less friction. Yeah, and all those small, grainy bits of sand create friction and slow it down. What materials should we use next? Hard versus soft! Ooh, I got just a thing. These metal rulers for hard. That is hard. And this carpet for soft. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> yeah! yeah! Speedy Comet is the champion. Too much friction with the furry carpet. Now you're getting it. How about we try one more round? How about we use school glue for sticky Yeah. and soapy water for slippery? It's about to get real messy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, time to apply our final materials. Got some soapy water. Ooh. Ooh, soapy. Now it's time for the glue. Oh. Ooh. Three, two, one, go! Oh, man, it barely didn't even get halfway. Oh! That was insane speed. Insane speed on that the soap. That was insane yeah. speed. Amazing race, Taj. Um, though it looks like Barry the Pedal is in a very sticky situation. Yeah, he's very stuck. He's the gloozer. <laughs> he's the gloozer. <laughs> OK, but how should we start to learn about this? Well, first things first. Should we try to walk up the bank to see how steep it really is? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Whoa. <laughs> oh, never mind. I think I'm good right here. Me too. This is hard work. Yeah. What's up, guys? No way. You're Riley Herbs, the NASCAR driver. Yes, I am. I think I'm good right here. Me too. This is hard work. Yeah. What's up, guys? No way. You're Riley Herbs, the NASCAR driver. Yes, I am. These banks are pretty steep, aren't they? Yeah. Did you know these steep banks make us race car drivers go as fast as we do? Without them, we couldn't go as fast. Wow, so the track has to be like this to help the cars? Exactly. You guys are getting the hang of it. Wow. <sighs> Can't believe how steep the bank cool. is here at Daytona International Speedway. I know. It's like the side of a mountain. I can't believe the cars actually stay on this track. We have to find out how it works. Today, we're looking at one of the most coolest aspects of the entire raceway. These insane banks, they're so steep we can hardly walk up them. Why is this track so steep on the turns? I think I have an idea, and I think I can explain it with the help of our good friend, Lightning McQueen. The track at Daytona is pretty much like a normal road when you're along the straightaway. As the track starts to curve, it gets more and more steep off the ground. Most professional racetracks have big banks on the turns so that the race cars don't have to slow down as they change direction. Why would they have to slow down? Remember in the first Cars movie when Lightning is training with Doc Hudson? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when he fell in the cactus patch? So when a track is banked like the ones here at Daytona, the force of pushing against the ground helps keep the cars stable as they make high-speed turns around the track. It's all that force pulling in one direction combined with the speed of the race car pulling you forward. The banking really does make the turns a breeze. Exactly. Now you've got it. And the steeper the bank is, the faster race cars will be able to go. For example, here at Daytona, they're 31 degrees at their highest point. Wow, that's like an expert ski slope. Cars going around this turn are going to have some serious momentum. I bet McQueen would love to take a spin around this track, knowing how steep the banks are. 